Hi, I'm Robert Vincent from BurbankAndBeyond.com. I'm here at the renaming of Pacific Park to the Larry Maxim Memorial Park, the only Medal of Valor winner in Burbank, California's history. In 1968, he gave up his life in Vietnam so others might survive. It is my tremendous honor to welcome you all to the renaming of Pacific Park, as from this day forward, it will be known as Larry L. Maxim Memorial Park. In honor and memory of Larry Leonard Maxim, Medal of Honor posthumously, who so bravely gave his life on 2 February 1968 at Camlo District Headquarters, Quang Tri Province, Republic of Vietnam. Well, good morning, everybody. And as mayor of the city of Burbank, uh, it's a great honor to be part of this monumental occasion. Uh, as some of you may know, this project was started early in 19, uh, 2009 and was spearheaded by Mickey DiPaolo and everyone on the Veterans Commemorative Committee. <laughs> on behalf of the city of Burbank, we could not be more proud to name a park after Corporal Larry L. Maxim, and it is an honor and a privilege to have a park in his namesake. I would like to thank everyone for attending today's ceremony, especially Larry's family, who have come from Northern California and Australia to be with us today. I know that we are fortunate enough to have several of Larry's classmates with us today. Larry Maxim grew up in Burbank and attended Emerson Elementary, Muir Middle School, and Burbank High School. I think we must always remember that there's only two defining forces that ever offered to die for us. One of them was Jesus Christ and one of them was the American soldier. One offered uh, to die for our soul and the other offered to die for our freedom. Thank you. City going forward as people come to this beautiful park, uh, they will ask young people, who was Corporal Maxim? Uh, and his story here is set out for all time. Uh, it is not only, I think, a phenomenal tribute to Corporal Maxim, but it's a wonderful education for all the users of this park uh, in the future. Um, let me say, first of all, that all the people here, you represent essentially the core of what makes our country great. Those people who currently serve in uniform, those people who served in uniform in the past, those people who give to this community, and those uh, people who take an active part in helping others. And uh, Burbank's a great city. I just want to point out my wife's third generation Burbank person. And we're very grateful for you putting this on. Thank you again for this honor. Every single one of us living the wonderful life we are afforded in this country has a duty. Our duty is to remember. It is the one thing our fallen ask of us, to remember them. As the old saying goes, the first duty is to remember. The city of Burbank has made a wonderful commitment to that duty with the monument in honor of one of their brave sons who fell on a battlefield halfway around the world 42 years ago. I'm here with Chris Doste, the Park and Recreation Director for the city of Burbank. So tell me a little bit about the dedication of the park today. Well, I, you know, I, I mentioned earlier when I was speaking to the to the to the folks here that, you know, my 25 years of public service, I think this was a probably as as neat a moment as I've had, um, and I think the reason is it's exactly what we should be doing at local government. You know, recognizing somebody from our community and paying tribute to them, um, and uh, it was just a holistic thing. Um, and I remember when Mickey DiPaolo came and, and talked about it. Um, if I could tell a little bit of a story, I. There's a, a big guy that I used to know. He was about 6'5", maybe 340, all muscles. And I used to say that you could hit Tui, but it'd be a complete waste of time, you know. And uh, it's the same thing with Mickey. You could tell Mickey no, but it's a complete waste of time. You know, and when Mickey came in my office and said, since it's something he wants to do, there's no stopping him, you know. And so uh, Mickey steamrolled this thing, and if it wasn't for Mickey DePaulo, we, we wouldn't have been here. So uh, it's just, the, everything about today is, is uh, very special to me. We're at the new Larry Maxim Park, dedicated to Corporal Larry Maxim. And Congressman Schiff, what do you think about this dedication today? I think it's just fantastic. It's uh, one of the many things that makes me so proud to be a Burbank resident. Uh, this city really knows how to look after its veterans. It knows how to bring the public attention to those that have served this country. Uh, and what better example could our young people and all Americans have than Larry Maxim, someone who gave his life in Vietnam, earned the Medal of Honor. Uh, his story is so inspiring. Uh, Burbank born and bred. We're very proud of his service. And it's just a fantastic thing the city's doing, doing today. You know, it's one of those things you hear about heroes. It's the first time, to me, it actually applies. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, there are heroes, and then there are the select few that win the Medal of Honor. Uh, Corporal Maxim gave his life in the most heroic way, defending his comrades and and uh, and defending a perimeter against uh, incredible odds. Just an extraordinary story. I'm here with Mayor Brick, and the dedication of this park, Mayor Brick, to Larry Maxim, is very poignant to yourself. Why is that, sir? Well, obviously, we're here to honor Larry Corporal Maxim today. Uh, 42 years ago, he made the ultimate sacrifice, and uh, like so many people did in our nation, and uh, it's a special day for me because I lost a brother in August of 68, uh, Green Bay Special Forces, and I don't think it matters what service you served in whatever okay anyone that makes the ultimate sacrifice or sacrifice excuse me i mean i've got to take my hat off to them and salute them and it was wonderful that we could do it have the family in here from northern california and they came from australia too uh, to make this dedication today i'm here with mickey DePaulo. can you tell us about the rededication of the park today well uh about a, a couple years ago um, our veterans commemorative committee and uh, we met and um, explored the idea of renaming a park in honor and memory. And um, like I said in, in the, uh, my words today, that we went to the Park and Rec Board and the City Council, and they wholeheartedly endorsed it, and we got together with city staff, and uh, this thing just took a life on its own, and it moved along really fast, and here we are today with, a, with a beautiful uh, memorial now out it's here. Corporal Maxim, correct? Corporal Larry L. Maxim. It's because a lot of the people didn't realize that or won't know that until they check out the website. And talking to you, it was very touching. I could see that you felt this very deeply, and the corporal was a true hero. Definitely, definitely. You know, there is all the uh, the Rambo's and the other movies like that. There, that's 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 the movies. That's make believe. Larry Larry Maxim was a true American hero, and uh, this honor is, it's never too late. It's a long time in coming, and I'm glad this is here uh, uh, in his memory, and especially for his family who came from Australia and Northern California. Uh, to be here for the ceremony today and uh, that to me that made our ceremony is having his loved ones here it is beautiful the the, the plaque it just looks phenomenal yeah uh, like I said the uh, the, the city of Burbank uh, the, when it comes to our veterans and the men and women that have died for our country there's no better city than Burbank uh, who supports uh, the, the the soldiers and their families and uh, this was a uh, uh, monument here, was, it was barren ground here about two months ago, and now wow. take a look at it. It's phenomenal. And it's only because of the, uh, the staff and the uh, contractors that got together and knew that we were going to do this uh, the event, and they got it done. I'm here with Robin and Linda Maxim Clark with the dedication of the park today, the renaming of from Pacific Park to their brother, Larry Maxim, Corporal Larry Maxim, who gave up his life back in 1968. What does this dedication mean to you? It means a whole lot. Uh, it's nice that the Vietnam veterans as a whole have finally been really recognized for the contribution that they all made. How do you feel about how Burbank's welcomed their own son back? I think it's been excellent. I think it's, uh, they've done a wonderful job. Uh, it's been fantastic to see the turnout. Uh, very pleased that uh, Larry's friends and, and uh, the members of his platoon were able to get here. So we're just absolutely... Elected. Well, you came all the way from Australia, is that correct? We did, that's right, yeah. When did you arrive? Uh, we came in, uh, well, we came in separate planes. I came last Wednesday, and my sister came in on Sunday. Those of us that didn't really know about your brother, I am humbled by his experience and, and the countless lives, like they said today, it wasn't just his platoon, it was their families and their families. You must be proud. Extremely proud. It's, it, we were always proud of him, even before this. Just as an older brother, we were proud of him. That was a pretty amazing and poignant ceremony for Corporal Maxim, with family, friends, and comrades. An incredible human being, a wonderful brother and son, a great Marine. I'm Robert Vincent for BurbankandBeyond.com. Welcome home, Larry Maxim. God bless you in eternal peace. You and the millions of men and women who have died in the service of our country will never, ever be forgotten. Thank you. God bless.